We end tonight with a man who started running when he reached Social Security age and hasn't stopped yet. Chip Reed now with our special series, Living Stronger. Nat Shafir runs six miles a day, six days a week. He started running after meeting a college student who had just run a marathon. So I looked at her and said, she did a marathon. If she can do it, I can do it. And you were how old at the time? 65. He's now 81 and later this year hopes to run his 12th marathon. When he runs, he doesn't listen to music or plan his day. He says his mind is usually in a much darker place. When you're running, do you sometimes relive and think about this horror? Absolutely, all the time. This over there. That horror is the Holocaust. He gives tours at the Holocaust Museum in Washington, D.C., where he shares his own story. Now, we know for a fact that Hitler hated all minorities, in particular Jews. Shafir was born in Romania in 1936 and had a happy childhood until he was almost six years old, when everything suddenly changed. One of our neighbors was a priest. He showed up with a police officer and two iron guard and he's pointing at us and he's saying, SDG Downs, these are Jews. So we were actually turned in to the authorities because we were Jews by a priest. His family spent years in a Jewish ghetto with barely enough food to survive. 32 of his relatives perished in Nazi concentration camps. Shafir, though, eventually made it to Israel and at age 24 to America. Running, he says, gives him strength. As a young paratrooper in the Israeli army, he was shot in the knee. You still have any bullet fragments or anything in no, your knee? No, they took it out when they replaced my knee. So you've had a knee replacement. Right. You were shot in the knee, yeah. and you're running marathons. Right. Running while thinking about the Holocaust, he says, gives him the mental strength to keep telling his story. Running gives me so much more incentive to speak out and make sure things like this don't happen again. 81 years old and living stronger than ever before. Chip Reed, CBS News, Washington.